Hello everyone, and today I wanna show you how we can create this incredible shading device. Actually, I found it in the internet, and I think this is really nice and uh, looks simple and pretty interesting. Just concrete and just some nice shape. Uh, I already did it. This is my render, and this is a uh, render after Photoshop, and I think it uh, looks same. So like this. So, stop about talking and let's do it and let's I show you how I did it. So, as you see, as you see here, I already have the my shapes, but uh, we will create now a new one from the zero. So, let's go to the file, let's create a new family. Uh, let's go to the new family and we will choose the metric mess So let's go inside metric mess and we here we are uh, First what we're gonna do uh, Now I need to Go to the top view And I will draw the cycle here around like uh, hundred one thousand Seven hundred or two thousand up to you a thousand eight uh, hundred I did so and I need also two lines so let's create two lines one line is 45 degree let's put it here and other line it's also 45 degree okay nice so uh, let's go back to the our perspective view and now I will set uh, this plane and I will go to the back view so let's draw it uh, now I need to use the model and I will use the spline and let's draw something like that maybe like this let's check it out so here my references uh, as you see the shape shape it's uh, some uh, we have the curve shape now I'm doing the middle one the middle part so let's let's continue uh, it's more curly curly so do, let's do it something like this okay something like this I think yes and uh, now we need to create the other as a thing uh, corner parts so let's do it I'll go to the top view now oh this is this is bad thing this one let's change this should be here let's check it now let's go again to the back view and now we need to move everything to here Okay, I'm going to the top view. Let's choose our uh, line and let's copy it. I want to multiply copy. Let's copy it here. And now we need to change the direction of this uh, dots. I will move it here, this one here, and just continue to do that. Because we have the between uh, these shapes, we have the gap, so that's why I'm not do, do not uh, don't touching the this line. So this one also I should move it. Let's move it somewhere here. Let's go to 3D. Okay, to the back view. Uh, but this one I'll put a bit here I'll extend it a bit a 
and I will copy that. No, I not, not, I not will copy it. Uh, what I will gonna do? Uh, let's copy this one. Connect to this part, and after that I will de delete, dissolve this line, and I will dissolve this line too. And let's check. Here I will have 1,100. Here, 1,300. Let's let's do the numbers more correct. So this one from this line, 1,700. From that line, 1,500. And let's continue it. And now I'll just select everything and spline. So if you go again to 3D, you see we get a nice curve. So uh, what gonna do now? Uh, I also uh, do everything what I did now here for that side. Just uh, click on um, this uh, this dot and you see the uh, the dimensions. And just repeat for that dot also. So when you have finished that, uh, let's go again to the 3D view and let's check it out. I just selected uh, all these uh, lines and create the form. And let's see what we get. Uh, is it looks like this one or if not, just go back. Just go back and just try to solve this problem. For example, as you see, this is line not, not correct. I will do like this. After that, I will do that line to one line because everything this is on one line. Let's go again to the back view and let's I do some touches. So okay. I think it uh, looks seems like that one. Uh, so we should to try. Is it like this or no? I will uh, create the new uh, project with metric, of course, and we will load it there now. So let's go back, load uh, into the new project. Yeah. Uh, yes, enable it. Uh, here the our shape already here I'll go to the 3d view and the top view because now I can see more properly and let's mirror it like this after that I will mirror by 45 degree and again I will mirror to the other side like this uh, let's see on the 3d what is that uh, I will use the shaded one Maybe I want a bit higher because this is not not looks like uh, not looks like like, like we have now. <laughs> uh, let's do it. It's easy actually. Uh, just again back view. Everything this one and let's make them higher and a bit extend to the left side. Yes. Oh, sorry, before we load it, we need to create the form again, load into the project and override them. Let's go to the 3D view. Still, I have here so big cycle, but here not like this. Anyway, you can go back and change the cycle. Okay, I will go with you. Let's go back. We'll go to the top view. Where is our dot? It's here. 
let's create this is 100 uh 1200 maximum i think and let's change the position of them how i will do that i will change position all of them for example like this and for that one too now I, again as we did uh, you need select everything create the form load into the project override them go to the 3d and check yes now it's uh, the diameter more correct but we have here a bit big gap uh, again again and again go back and change it change it because uh, you want to great result right so now I understand where is my problem because of that one let's put it here and I think it will be last uh, stage and after that we can uh, do render in lumen or whatever you want just everything up to you let's do it uh, by eye without uh, right dimension because we already know this is uh, seems right like this okay so th this is now on one line uh, let's finish it load into the project override them 3d and yes now it's we have the one one gap i mean uh, it's, it looks like the same gap i'll go to the top view now and i'll copy them let's copy it the one thing what i don't like and then i will change it again sorry guys uh, I don't like because um, this is not in one line these dots that I really don't like it so I want it to be straight maybe a bit smaller okay now I like it I think I hope So let's finish it again, override them, 3D, yes, now now it's more correct, now, now it looks more nicely, we can uh, do a bit closer, like this one, and now it looks like everything same. So let's copy it again, maybe here, uh, I will move it a bit. So what, what, gonna, what we can do with that shape? Uh, actually everything pretty easy you know now can go to the messing and you can apply wall for them let's apply wall for that side for this one this one and this one uh, for that side for example you can apply uh, not wall you can create the curtain system let's create the curtain system for all of them you just can select everything and curtain system here is our curtain system that looks so bad uh, so we will change it now just uh, fix it number I don't want to fix it number I will do minimum spacing like 1200 and minimum spacing for that one I will do 700 uh, what else we will do uh, interior mullion just I will choose some standard one let's do it and just apply ok just few seconds uh, Revit now will recalculate uh, geometry and we will see the new geometry with our shape so now it's I think looks more better if I will switch off the messing you will see more clearly now it's really looks more better not perfect but we can do it if you want and I actually I don't like the glaze I don't wanna see the glaze you can uh, use empty and one two three four now it's empty so just mesh wire mesh it looks not bad so uh, what you can do also with this thing you can export it to the lumen how just file 
uh, export and export FBX. Uh, let's like test, test two, and let's export it. Just few second again. Let's go back to the aluminum now. Here the my sand as you see. Uh, actually, I I really like it. Let's go back to the uh, build mode. So I did uh, everything same for that part. Uh, now let's load it uh, our uh, new part. Load, test, and okay. Let's let's leave it name like test. Okay, just hold on. Here we are. I think size it's too big, but it's okay. It's lumen. We can. It's correct. Now we corrected that. Let's rotate it like that. Maybe like that one. And put it somewhere here. Maybe I will do it a bit bigger. Okay, like this. So, uh, and after that, as you know, we can just apply the materials. Uh, uh, for example, this one is custom material. Uh, if you want, guys, just uh, leave uh, some comments or thumbs up, and uh, I will give you the link with the material. Uh, for example, I'm using the material on my own. Uh, for example, outdoor. I will show you the difference between the standard one and mine. This is standard material, and let's I'll show you how how looks, looks my material. Yeah, this is my material and bam so as you see we get uh, the roughness and this looks more better actually you can see on the render anyway thank you guys for watching i hope you find this video so useful anyway you can try to do something like uh, that project uh, and you can use the same shading device maybe in your own project who knows See you guys and take care.